Hi everyone, it's Tasha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm thrift shopping and I'm on the hunt looking for earthy, transitional style home decor. My goal is to create high-end decor moments in our home while paying a lot less than retail. Come on and join me for this thrift and DIY challenge. Okay, so we're off to the thrift shops again this week. Come along with me and let's see what we can find. I'm just browsing around here, first of all, at Goodwill. And behind that water saver, I actually found this little crystal clock. It really caught my attention. It's so, so pretty. I don't know much about the brand yet, but definitely piqued my interest right off the bat. And I love looking at some of the furniture that comes into thrift shops. This one is definitely vintage with those quail all over it. So interesting. I also thought that these tea towels were very pretty. 450 for a set of two over at a different thrift shop and I'm seeing lots of little pottery pieces as well as dishes These were all 99 cents each and they did have kind of an organically shaped edge So I thought that they were pretty there are bowls next to them that aren't actually the same exact brand But go pretty well this woven piece caught my eye immediately from across the store So I went to check that out Now this is your first pick or pass item and these are going to be back to back actually. The first one is this beautiful fluted lampshade. I didn't have a lamp for this at the moment but I am wishing that I went ahead and grabbed this. I'm not sure why I didn't. Would you have picked this up or would you have left it at the store for $2.50? And your second pick or pass item is this hand-thrown looking little pitcher. This didn't have a signature on it, but I think that it's a homemade piece, maybe locally. It's got this really nice organically shaped oversized handle as well as the spout. Would you have picked this up for $5 or left it at the store? I also came across this candlestick. It was a single, there were no matches, but for $1.99 it caught my interest as well. And this set of plates, since it had multiple plates here, this was $5.99 for the set and they were from Pottery Barn. So here's what I brought home from the thrift shops. First of all, I did go ahead and get that little crystal clock. Now I'm so upset with myself because you can probably see that I damaged the clock face a little bit when I was trying to get it open to um, put a new battery in. I actually poked a little hole in the paper of the face of the clock. You can probably spot it there. So I'm aggravated with myself, but I think I'm just going to maybe print out a new clock face in that same style and try and replace the paper later. But still for only $4.99, I thought that this was such a pretty clock and it definitely completes this little vignette here on my nightstand and I had been actually looking for a little tabletop clock so I'm super happy with this. This clock is made by Steigner in West Germany and it goes for around 30 to 50 dollars online typically so really happy with my score. Next I brought home this set of three picture frames. Now I'm just using these for the frames. There is some artwork framed inside and it has this red matting all along. So I'm not gonna use these as is, but what caught my eye was the fact that there were three of them that matched first of all, and also that they had a nice thin modern style wooden frame. And so I'm just um, disassembling these here to see what's what inside. And actually what someone had framed were calendar pages, which was creative. So, but I'm gonna be removing that. And I thought about maybe wrapping the matting here in a fabric to cover up the red um, and you can see how I do that in another video this is a little clip of how I do that you can go to the video linked above and see how you can do that really precisely it makes a nice um, result with a linen wrapped frame however I think I'm going to go a different direction with this particular project I'm just taking these all the way apart so that I just have the frames and I can um, paint those to cover up some of the rough spots the frames were pretty dinged up on these so I I think I need to paint them. Um, I'm just like taking out all of those staples in the back side of this and taking them all apart so that I can get started. And now I have three frames. I'm going to be giving these a couple of coats of this ultra matte black spray paint. Um, I'm going for a very modern look with these and I want to stack them um, with black and white photographs inside. So this paint, um, you can still see a little bit of damage in the wood, but does a pretty good job of camouflaging all that in a way that kind of refinishing the wood would not have. While I'm outside, I pause to plant a few things in our garden, and now I'm off to Dollar General, which is right down the street, and I'm just going to pick up three sheets of poster board. 
So I decided that I definitely wanted like an oversized matting for this and I picked up that white poster board and that's what I'm going to use to create my matting. So I've just traced a slightly smaller than 4x6 rectangle using a photo that I already owned. I made it a little bit smaller. I want my opening to be smaller than the actual photograph size and I'm just tracing that onto the piece of poster board. I'm tracing on the glossy side because I want to use the matte side facing out as my picture frame matting and then I'm just using my exacto knife which I will link below. This is super helpful to carefully cut this out and I'm being as precise as I possibly can because I want this to be a nice crisp edge that's going to be framing my photo. So I'm doing kind of the best job that I can um, tracing that and cutting it out perfectly and then I'm just using the existing piece of matting that came with it to kind of put it equally evenly around that one and then I'm cutting that out after I trace that as well so you can see the end result is an oversized white mat with a spot inside for a 4x6 photograph now I'm going to be hanging these at the top of my hallway in a vertical stack like the photo shown here. This is my inspiration photo and you can see how much they cost at Target. They're about $40 each for this same exact size with the 4x6 matting cut out in the middle. So I thought that for $7.99 for all three of these was an excellent deal. Just a little bit of paint and a little bit of time to cut out my own matting and I have my own version of that. You can see it here at the top of our hallway, what I've done. Um, it's kind of hard to get the footage just at the right angle because there's not a lot of space for me to move back, but you can kind of see what they look like here. And I've taken a couple photographs too for reference. I think that I really like this stack here at the top of the hallway. It just has a lot of impact with the all black and white and a very modern touch here in the hallway. And so now let me tell you about something else new in our home this week that's not from the thrift shop. So this company called Eco reached out to me and asked if they could send over this new trash can and I said yes please. It was perfect timing because our other one was really getting on my nerves. It was a step can. The lid kept slamming shut instead of soft closing and the pedal would sometimes pinch our feet which sounds crazy but let me know if that's ever happened to you. So this one is an automated one where you wave your hand and it opens and I really really love this upgrade. So they sent over a roll of um, trash bags inside of it as well so you can see me just setting it up here you can tuck it in so that the bag totally doesn't show once you have the top on it's all nice and neat and I just think that this is such a pretty pretty trash can and it's worked really smoothly for us so far so I love how easy this trash can works so you've seen a touch-free trash can before so you just wave your hand over the top it opens up and what I like about this is this little dot countdown system so you know when it's about to close. Sometimes you're like doing something here over the trash, you're trying to get something out. If you need more time, you just kind of wave again or if your arm is up here, it just stays open. It like can sense you there until you're done and then the countdown will start again. And also you can like just hit this button to make it open and then manually also hit it to make it close. I really like this trash can. So if you're in the same boat as we were and need a new trash can for your kitchen, then definitely check out the link in my description box. This one's really, really nice. Now, another thing that I brought home from the thrift shops this week, you probably can guess, was this rattan like chip and dip serving ware set with the bowl in the center. I spotted this from way down the aisle and walked straight over to it. It definitely caught my eye. And when I got home, I realized it was from Pier 1 when I turned the bowl over. I hadn't thought to do that in the store, but that one is not available anymore. But just depending on where you're looking for these, they can cost maybe between 50, even $100, just depending on the vendor, obviously. But I thought that this was such a pretty piece for our home and to have on hand for different serving wear needs. Along that same vein, I also picked up this beautiful pitcher with this really modern and unique shape. This is made by Linux and I thought that this was so eye-catching. It was only $2.19 and I picked this up just to have on hand as another serving option for drinks and I just gave it a good wash in hot water here but you can see that this cost about $60 online it is still for sale right now from Linux I'll link it just in case you really have to have it full price definitely go and check it out but I thought that these two pieces together especially for only $2.19 and $5.99 were really good additions to our serving wear now for those of you who have been following me for a while you know that I love 
cloth napkins. Um, we actually don't use paper ones or paper towels or anything like that anymore. I just figured why not have a collection of cloth ones and make every meal feel a little bit more special. So I just have a big collection and I wash them and we don't use paper ones anymore. So these cost me only 99 cents for the whole bundle of eight of these kind of vintage cotton linen blend napkins. I was so excited, you guys. So here's me just styling them with our everyday dinnerware. Um, the actual plates and the that set is by Denby in England. I found those at the thrift shop in one of my earliest videos. You can see that here. And then the silverware I have linked before, but it's a lovely, lovely set made by J.A. Hinkles. I can link to that. We really, really love this utensil set um, and mat. And so you can just see how beautiful these simple little cotton brown napkins look with our play setting. So it just to me makes everything a little bit more special. A few dried flowers on the top just to make it extra fancy if you want to. And to me, this is just something that draws you to the table. So for this next thing, this is actually something that I picked up a few weeks ago was this little shawl. It was 99 cents and you can see that originally I styled it over the foot of the guest bed here. Um, it wasn't quite long enough to use on our king size bed, but my initial thought when I bought it was I might make pillow covers out of the material and so that's actually what I want to go back and do now. So I'm just going to make a very simple two stitch style pillow cover and what I'm doing is just, as you can see, cutting a long rectangle that I can fold over this existing pillow cover that I have that I'm not really using anymore. And so I have a long rectangle, I'm folding it over the top and I wanna leave the zipper in my existing pillowcase exposed down here on the bottom edge. So you'll see more of what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm just gonna fire up the old sewing machine and I'm doing just two stitches, one down the side of the pillowcase and one down the other side and the top will already be closed because that's where I folded it. So now I'm just flipping it back to right side out and my stitches are hidden because I sewed it with the wrong side facing out. And you can see what I mean now. It's kind of like a slip cover for my existing pillowcase basically. So just the two stitches, one down each side and the top is just where I folded it. So here I am basically putting my new pillow cover over the existing one that I wanna to continue to use. And I'm just tucking in the corners tightly and you can see now that I have that zippered section exposed there at the bottom. I wanna just continue to use the zipper that I have. And so now I'm just putting on my hem tape, which I will link for you in the description box in case you're interested, but I'm just trying to fold neatly and kind of use the hem tape to lay my fabric right alongside the existing zipper so that I can still access that. And this of course will be the bottom of the pillow, which you won't see when it's styled. Now, since this pillow is just gonna be used on the bed upstairs, it's not gonna be down, thrown around, you know, guests aren't gonna be inspecting it downstairs. I think that this super easy way of finishing it off works very well just for a quick little project. And I do really love the way that these two pillows look in the bedroom. And if you notice that bench at the foot of the bed, you can find out how I made that in the video linked above. But these pillowcases have just the right amount of floral for me. It's a small floral, it has that vintage flair. It almost looks kind of like a block print pillow. So I think that these look really sweet on the bed and I'm happy that I took the time to make them, especially in this super easy two stitch fashion. And that about wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what you liked or what your thoughts are. And also don't forget to let me know about those two pick or pass options, whether you would have chosen to take those home or leave them at the store. Thank you again, and I will see you all at the next video.